welcome to NGF Drop Zone. In our first match, we're going to have OJ versus K9 in an Extreme Rules matchup. Extreme Rules matchup is a thing, correct, Nathan? I mean, look at, look at Billy's fans. Look at Billy's fans. Boo, OJ, as he's coming out to the ring. That's right, these fans are booing OJ for the simple reason that OJ is a gangster, Chris. And not only that, he is... He, he is somebody who hasn't been really loved by fans since he first came in. Ever since he brought in his arrogance and swagger and his OJ, no one has liked him ever since. Well, is Jake correct? And uh, as you can see, OJ is the first match in the NJF drop zone. Uh, what was last week? First week was the pay-per-view, right? Yes, it was Cross and Bones, and it was an amazing pay-per-view, Chris. We've got to see some epic matches, and here tonight, OJ and K9 are going to try to have an epic match of their own. What is a day correct? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, is that uh, OJ, K9, and Bones? Uh, what is that going to be off the wall, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be extreme rules. This is exactly what OJ and K9 do for a living. They love to beat each other up in these kind of matches. And here comes out the powerhouse K9. The powerhouse K9 isn't Jake correct, Nathan. And as you can see, wearing his black uniform and the black shirt, and he's coming That is true, but I think K9 has a little bit more uh, heat from the fans than OJ. OJ just OJ just doesn't care. OJ's a gangster. He just goes by the seat of his pants. So K9, he likes to piss off people deliberately because he thinks he's the best thing the NGWF has ever seen. First thing, NGWF has ever seen is a day correct what he thinks, Nathan. And as, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are getting ready for this epic confrontation between good and evil. Chris, well, who's good and who's evil? Well, the fans are obviously good, and the ref is obviously evil. Yeah, that's right, because uh, the refs here in the NGWF have, a, have some sort of weird phobia when it comes to counting. They're so slow, but speaking of slow, uh, K9 is not wasting any time going after OJ, and already a submission maneuver! Oh my god, a submission! Is he gonna give up? Is he gonna give up? How oh I got out of it? He got out of it, now ladies and gentlemen, this is extreme rules, which means anything goes, there will be uh, weapons and objects underneath the ring that these competitors will be able to use to beat the living hell out of each other. It'll be a special time for all of us, Chris. A special time for all of us? Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, here we go! K9, uh, and OJ. Oh, it looks like though K9's got the advantage. Whips him over into the corner! That is indeed correct, Chris. This is going to be an epic competition between these two hardcore competitors. Now, OJ, OJ as of late has been talking about wanting to go over to the NGW side and compete in the West Coast Division. But, you know, Chris, first, first, he has to prove himself here tonight, uh, according to what Strife said, anyway. Oh, let's make a record! Oh, no, 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 he wants to go around the other side! Oh, no, no, no! Chris, I didn't understand a word of that, but you were absolutely 100% correct. Oh, no, 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 Right now, it looks like OJ, oh, OJ tried to go for some sort of spinning elbow, but it just didn't work. Right now, K9 going for another submission! Now, Chris, did you know that K9 has been training as of late to, to uh, update his repertoire and basically be more of like an MMA fighter type sort of deal? He wants to use speed and power to his advantage. No, I did not know that! Uh, let's see, K9 with the advantage over the corner! Oh my god, what is it? Oh, what is it? Crazy! Crazy! This, this, Nathan, this match is definitely for the fighters and... That's right, the NGF fans all over or just a, enthralled with this matchup because this matchup is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Huge punch from OJ! And OJ! Uh oh! Oh! oh ladies and gentlemen, that was a vicious maneuver by OJ! That was an absolute vicious maneuver by OJ, is indeed correct, Chris. 
so far these two great competitors are fighting every or fighting in this uh this matchup and because so far no one has grabbed any weapons outside the ring. I wonder what's up with that. I think I think Hannah is trying to trying to prove that he doesn't need to necessarily use weapons to beat the crap out of OJ. That is indeed correct, Chris. He does not need weapons. And right now, K9 is going out top. Oh! oh! My God, right on his chin! K9 with a kick right on his chin! Right in the snout! Right in the snout is a big correct Oh my God, look at that one! Right now, K9 is going outside and grabbing a trash can. But no, he drops it for some odd reason. He rolls back underneath the ring. Oh, and throws him. What? Oh! oh huge club. Oh! oh my God! Talk about overkill from the hard, from the most baddest hardcore dude. Oh my! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, Oh wait a minute! K9 going for the pump handle slam. Yeah! Oh my God! Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh my God! OJ, get down! OJ, get down! Can you believe it? OJ, get down! Oh my God! OJ manages to kick out of this vicious, vicious slam. Now, OJ whips K9 into the ropes, but K9 fights back. OJ's got him in a headlock, whips him into the ropes again. Oh, drop kick. Now, OJ, the thing about OJ, Chris, I do have to realize is that OJ, uh, when he first showed up the NGWF, he, uh, he basically took the NGWF by storm. He fought in, the, in his very first matches against the same man for the core title. In his very first matchup, he became core champion. Oh, he's had a vicious hard Gerada. And and ever since, OJ has had a sort of on again, off again uh, rivalry with the insane one. And he's even had a brief rivalry with Special Ed. Special Ed's the one who called him out. And then he also had a rivalry with the bum. So basically, he's fought some. Ow! He's fought some of the more um, interesting and unique people here in the NGWF. Oh, the big right and the vicious chair shot. Oh, one, one two, two, three, and K9 is your winner in this Extreme Rules matchup. Not exactly what we were expecting, but it's what we deserve. Well, that is a deep courageous, vicious move by both competitors. And I'm not really sure why they are definitely... Yes! That isn't incorrect! <laughs> Good said better myself, Chris. Right now, K9 can take solace in the fact that he, uh, he took a victory here tonight. Will we see more of K9 later down the road? I don't really know. But it looks like an OJ probably did not impress Strife enough to know where to go with the NGW. So, you know, he's probably going to be stuck here for a while. But OJ showed a, he did show some character, he did, he did show off some moves that we have never seen him do before, but at the same time, K9 walked away with the victory. Well, that is a between Komodo Dragon of NGF versus Blackman of NGW. Yeah, the Komodo Dragon was actually defeated uh, by Mad Dog. That's right, Mad Dog defeated Komodo Dragon across and bone for the uh, race championship. And Chris, ever since then, Komodo Dragon has been on a tear. Disney or Duel even called that match. It's a Komodo Dragon's match, he called that match a fluke. He said that Mad Dog got extremely lucky. And you know what? I find that hard to believe. He said, in effect, Mad Dog not only won an Elimination Chamber match, but he also beat K uh, Komodo Dragon right after. Well, that was a day correct. I mean, Mad Dog didn't even really have any ropes. Uh, yeah, he beat the boss, but he beat Komodo Dragon, who has never been defeated before. They're just sort of crazy, so Mad Dog is a great champion. That is indeed correct, Chris, but Komodo Dragon here tonight has a chance to uh, possibly put himself back in the Rage Division by facing the NGW's uh, own Blackman. Now this is the first 
of our mixed brand matches here tonight. And so we're going to see who's going to have the victory here tonight. Is it going to be Blackman? Is it going to be Komodo Dragon? Who is going to get a victory for their respective brand here tonight? Dragon either too, Chris, but you never know with Blackman. I mean, Blackman is one of our more unpredictable wrestlers in the, in the entire GWF. And I gotta say, Chris, as much heart and determination as Blackman has, I don't think he's gonna win here tonight. I think somehow Jesse Adul is gonna get himself involved, and he's gonna, and uh, somehow uh, that's gonna distract Blackman from defeating Komodo Dragon here tonight. Not that Blackman needs to distract, uh, be distracted, because Komodo Dragon by himself is just a, a very big challenge. He is. Uh, I, I, I'm actually still surprised. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, a slap across the face in the butt of the man. Oh, the black of the man. Oh, my God. From Blackman, Blackman seems to be in control of the monster that is Komodo Dragon. In control of the monster that is Komodo Dragon is indeed correct. Komodo Dragon. Uh oh. Oh, what's up? Oh. oh. Why is it down? Why is it down? That was crazy. Crazy. This is a, that is indeed true, Chris. This is a uh, it, it, this is an absolute crazy match. It looks like Jay Z Yudul is giving Komodo Dragon some advice. We haven't seen Jesse Adul in a while, but that's for the simple reason that Jesse Adul went to Germany. He went to his home country of Germany in order to promote not only Komodo Dragon, but also go to some sort of convention. So Jesse Adul has also claimed that he'll be in action sometime in the near future. He's been training real hard, but for now, he's been... He's been trying to get his monster Komodo Dragon back under control. He's going to use Komodo Dragon to dominate the NGWF. He's going to use Komodo Dragon to dominate NGWF! Oh, dang, you're right! This is just crazy! Oh, my God! Oh, finally, with that knee to the face of Komodo Dragon! That is indeed true. And right now, Komodo Dragon whips Blackman into the corner. And the ref wisely gets out of the way. I wouldn't want to be in that matchup with that monster. And oh my god, a knee to the face! Has a little bit more tricks. Oh, oh! The belly, the belly, so black. Just as I said, the Komodo Dragon turned the tide of this matchup. And ladies and gentlemen, once Komodo Dragon grabs a hold of you, it's pretty much the end of the match. And he keeps talking to. Uh... Oh my God! That was like uh, Jesse Adul kind of gave Blackman some advice on how to destroy. Uh, I mean, Komodo Dragon how to oh, destroy his opponent. And another Huracanus! Oh, the Monarch of Huracanus! The Monarch of Huracanus Blackman is in control, and what is this? Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan, I think this is the epitome of the engine of love! That is indeed correct, Chris. This is, oh my god, I think, I think Komodo Dragon is calling for something. Oh my god, Komodo oh. drop! Komodo drop! But no, Komodo Dragon is not done. He is not finished with Black Men! See, this is what I was talking about, Chris. This is what I'm talking about. Komodo Dragon is, is one hellacious, vicious human being. Uh, when he is mad, when he is pissed off, he is loyally pissed off. He wants to destroy anyone who gets in his way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh! Oh, my God. Let's go. One. Two. Oh, somehow Black Men kicked out of that vicious uh, suplex. My god! Oh, 
wait a minute. Oh! I was like Blackman that was in control of this complete matchup. Blackman is fighting for every inch of his being right now against this dragon of Komodo. But, uh, I don't know. Blackman, I gotta say, oh my god! Not again! Why does the challenge just throws him over the other side of the He's going for a pin! Oh, oh, oh. Blackman's showing everything he's got! Oh, he's kicking out! Blackman. This, this is actually an impressive bout from Blackman. I, I was not expecting Blackman to do this good against the dragon that is Komodo. It's like, uh, it's like Komodo Dragon's got a little bit weaker. It's like Komodo Dragon's got a little bit soft after losing to Mad Dog. But nevertheless, he's still a beast, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? One, two, only a two count. Only a two count is a two correct. Oh, sweet Nick Nick from Blackman. What is Komodo Dragon going to do now? Uh, I shudder to think. Oh my god! Oh man, he's calling for something. I, I, I don't like this. Oh! oh! A vicious flapjack. What is, what is going to happen here? One, two, three. And your winner is Komodo Dragon. But I gotta say, Blackman actually put up a really good fight, ladies and gentlemen. He put on uh, a, an impressive bout against this monster. But in the end, Komodo Dragon just proved to be too strong, too powerful. And he beat Blackman here tonight and has a victory for NGF. Oh, I can't imagine this! This is very hard! I mean, this is the outcome I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting what happened in between! I wasn't expecting Blackman to put on such a great fight, Chris, but he did. He did. He he's got to impress. Uh, you know, he's got to impress Stripe. He's got to impress everyone in uh, the NGW West Coast division because he was the only West Coast person to ever actually stand up to the Dragon and put on one hell of a fight. Oh, what hell of a fight! Taking vicious baby, like I said before, Komodo Dragon will not stop until he's rage champion again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a match of a, a knockout match of triple threat and extreme rules. This is gonna be Hellraiser. This is gonna be Wolverine, and this is gonna be Man. What do you mean, Zone Man? No, I think he lost the title of Zone when he kept losing. That was indeed good too, true. And here comes out one of our uh, more bizarre uh, people in the NCWF, Hellraiser. Now, Chris, this is something about Hellraiser that's probably only going to Hellraiser came back to the NCWF. Not because he likes to compete. Not because he likes the NCWF. Not because he even likes the pressure wrestling. He came back for the simple reason that he was going to use the money to buy himself a new car. That is indeed true. That's the only reason why he even came back to the NGWF. Yeah, and, well, Hellraiser has not been on that bad of a streak as of late. In fact, he's won the last four matches and he's won them. But here tonight, maybe he'll be able to put himself on the map. Because the more matches you win here in the NGWF, or NGF, or whatever brand you're part of, the more money you get, the more respect you get. And I think, at the end of the day, that's what every wrestler wants. Whoa, whoa, is there a fire? Is there a fire? Oh, no, it's just Wolverine coming out. It's just Wolverine's incredible music. It's just techno music. I think it's from the Mortal Kombat soundtrack, but you can't quote me on that. But here comes... I will quote you on that, Aiden. Anyway, here comes Wolverine. He is loud. He is proud. And he is yellow. Wolverine, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, he is a submission specialist. He knows every submission move that there is in professional wrestling. So, I think tonight could possibly be Wolverine to change to shine too. But the problem with that, Chris, this is a knockout match. This is not a submission match. 
Wolverine has got to try something else besides submission in order to win here tonight. And here comes out a man who has not been on an impressive streak as of late. He has lost every match he's been in ever since he's back in the video. The man. The man, uh, he's a big guy, he's athletic, not the most charismatic of guys. He's not the most charismatic of guys, but Chris, he does have the power game. He does have the ability to become a great wrestler here at NGF. But the problem with that is, he needs to start winning some matches. He needs to start proving himself in order to be noticed and start making some money. Now this is a knockout match, as you gentlemen. If you don't know what a knockout match is, first of all, you're an idiot. Second of all, a knockout match is when you just have to knock out your opponent. This is not an elimination match. The first person to get completely knocked the hell out in this matchup loses, and whoever knocks out that wrestler wins. Well, that's dead correct! Now I'll say so, let the, uh, uh, the man go to the Hellraiser! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, God! Stop! What the hell? It looks like, ow! Oh, Hellraiser reverses into the result! Oh, my God! 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 Who do you have to win in this knockout match? Nathan, I gotta tell you, honestly, the fans! Wrestling-wise, Chris. Oh, wow, oh, the man just kicked out harder! I'm gonna go with the man! The man? Why would you go with the man? He's lost every match he's been in. He's the most level-headed character that's in the ring right now! Okay, I will give you that. But my take? Hell is why the fuck would you choose Hellraiser? Because Hellraiser, if you want, Hellraiser is just that kind of wild card persona. He's that kind of person that you never know what he's gonna do next. He might surprise you with a victory here tonight. He might surprise you with the Volcano Bros. That doesn't mean he's gonna win! Chris, just because he gave me some money and some drugs backstage does not necessarily mean I'm just pulling him for that reason. Care. You know what the important thing is in this matchup? This is all I'm getting paid? Besides that, the most important thing about this matchup is that whoever wins this matchup here tonight is going to have a huge, huge boost going in. Okay, it's going, whoever loses this matchup, actually, now I'm getting through my headset, I missed the <laughs> misinterpreted it yet again. I'm getting through my headset that the loser of this match will not be in the Rising Star Tournament that will take place on the NGW drop zone to determine who will be the next West Coast Champion. Well, well to determine who will be facing somebody from that era, I know they'll be just the West Coast Champion, because they're not starting with West Coast Champion, so they're not going to beat him. Well, that's what I meant to say, but you corrected me, so it's all good. I, I, you know, the information's coming so fast on the headset, I, I, I can't keep up with it. That's what she said. Uh, wait, what? Anyway. Oh, and Lake Street from Wolverine, you know, we've been jabbing on and on and on. We haven't really been paying attention to this epic competition between these three great competitors. And just remember, ladies and gentlemen, the loser does not get to be in the Rising Star Tournament. will not be able to compete to become number one contender for the West Coast title. What is... Oh! You know, I don't know what that maneuver was. But it was indeed effective here. Right now it looks like the man using his power and strength. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Looks like both both Hellies and Ladies and gentlemen, he did not need a GPS to find the mark on that one! Chris will need a GPS to find the incredible action here at NGWF. Right now, Hillary's just setting up a table. And what's he gonna do here? Oh, right now he's going for a, a submission maneuver. Oh, no! Trying to wear him down. Oh my goodness, Hellraiser just tossed the man in the table and Wolverine with the ladder. A little ladder! Uh, definitely enough shots for that, but the head will definitely make you figure knock the fuck out! 
Well, you definitely get knocked up from all those uh, hits to the head. Right now. Oh, man. Oh, man, so man. <laughs> uh, that is indeed correct. Right now, it looks like the man going out the hell. Oh! Why Guitar. I think he wants to go and play some. Uh, yeah, I think he's saving that for later. I think he's saving that for later. He wants to, he wants to tune up the bus with the band later on tonight. Oh, that's correct. Look at the stuff. What's that? This is absolutely indeed crazy, Chris. Right now, Wolverine. Oh, oh. with the back suplex. Now's the man with a back oh. suplex in his own. Ladies and gentlemen, these, these wrestlers are just being vicious to each other in the ring. Oh, and how, once again, how is it throws Wolverine into the table? What is it going to do? Uh oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. Oh. oh. And I, just, I think Wolverine just got bent in half. Wolverine got bent in half. I don't know how he's still capable of getting back up from that. Maybe it's the adrenaline. Maybe it's the heart. Maybe it's the passion, the determination, the drive, the will to succeed. The, the undying will to succeed. The undying. Oh. Chris. My strong ladies and gentlemen, this is a crazy action. This is indeed a, a completely insane, completely nuts, completely... Oh, oh I don't know, even know what to spend this. Correct, Chris. These competitors do not know what's at stake here. Well, I think they do, but they don't. I mean, this it is a it is a chance to compete in a tournament to become the West Coast or well, the, the 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 number one contender for the West Coast title. But the loser will not be able to be a part of that. So, oh, how is it with this finishing maneuver? Absolutely crazy, Chris. Absolutely crazy. And now, it looks like the man has a table, but Wolverine and Harry's are locked up. The man had a chair. That's okay, Nathan. I know you can get, you can get confused a little bit. It went to a table, and the chair is. Well, let's just get on his head. Chris, I am so high from all the drugs that Harry just gave me. Uh -oh. Oh. oh! Gut wrench, um, flip over something. Why is the man? It's gotta be pretty close to it indeed. Oh my god! Oh! Bowshot Galaka! Bravo Amadeco! And a George Foreman grill! Ladies and gentlemen. That was a dead correct! Uh oh! Oh my god, what is this gonna, what is gonna happen here? Oh, the man trying to, uh, how is it trying to wear the man down? I think it's working, Chris. Oh my god! Oh! They seem to be going at this uh, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why oh, that is. Oh, here we go, Hellraiser! And I want Green to go on it! Oh! Oh! There's his elbows! Absolutely vicious elbows is the knee correct thing. And right now it's a man and Wolverine. Oh! Oh my god! Look at this little back Looks like Wolverine and the man. Oh! you going to be a special ball on the man! But now they're facing each other. It's a man with a... Oh. The belly on top of that broken table. Broken table and broken dreams. Oh my God! Oh! oh. Right now, the man just waiting for his opportunity to get a strike. But Wolverine comes back with a oh. takedown maneuver. Perez looks like he's a bit out of it. Right, right now. Oh, hell is it going straight after the wolf of the ring? Oh! Oh! What's over that? Oh! Oh! Man, Hellraiser is showing impressive ability right now. And right now, Hellraiser going after uh, the man. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh. What is this? Oh. 
That is submission maneuver from Boom Weave comes to the rescue of Zaman. And right now, Zaman. Oh! oh. He stopped the Wolverine stop the man from possibly doing his rubber. Oh. oh my god! I don't know what's going on here, Chris. Right now, looks like Hellies and Wolverine are now fighting each other. Oh, uh, Wolverine tried to do some sort of diving move. I don't know what that was all about. Uh -oh. oh my god! Uh -oh. Oh! 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 Vicious! Vicious finishing move! Oh, oh man! Of the, <laughs> of the quality. And right now, it looks like
crab Chris and speaking of tables it looks like Vincent is setting one up it looks like he wants to end this early but he's gonna have to try a little bit harder with the high-flying duo of PJ and Phoenix and oh my god oh matchup between these awesome competitors. Uh, Chris, I, I have never uh, seen two tag teams in all of NGWF who want it more. Uh oh! Uh oh! Speaking of water, you bar! Here goes Phoenix! It looks like he's going to try to look at it! That is right, uh, the James Brothers, the rookies in this matchup, are going against NGWF Originals, PJ and Phoenix. Well, but PJ and Phoenix aren't really used to table matches, so that was a rookie mistake by them in this match. That is indeed correct, Chris, but the only problem is that PJ and Phoenix have only been in the NGWF for a very, very short time. They only came back recently, and they haven't had much experience. So it's going to be interesting to see. Oh, PJ's got the idea of, oh, he didn't get off of there. Oh! oh drop kick and PJ, regardless of the fact that he wasn't on the table. Absolutely uh -oh. amazing. Looks like they all got the same idea. They all got the same idea. They all got the same, uh, brainwaves. The same The, the sa same fashion. <laughs> it is the engine of So, Chris, what tag team do you think is going to be victorious here? Tonight. The tag team of the fans and the arena. I was talking about between PJ the Phoenix. Well, he probably should have been a little bit more, uh, a little bit more forthcoming and a little bit more. The pieces, the, the the tag teams are in the ring, Chris. Okay, I think that the team that gets the other people through the table will win. Oh, speaking of losing the tables, Vincent just missed PJ and went right through the table and fell. Oh. Uh oh. What's that? What's he gonna do? Oh! From Silver Sire, Ian Chase got up and Ladies and gentlemen, oh! PJ whipping Vincent over to the corner! Whipping him into the corner is indeed correct. We're gonna fire a cameraman if he keeps zooming in on the table like that. Maybe he's got a wood finish! <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe he does have a wood finish, is indeed. Correct. You know my ex-wife had a wood fetish. <laughs> and uh, how did those divorce proceedings go, Chris? Fuck you, Nathan. Fuck you. Oh, speaking of fucking, PJ just did an incredible move on Ian James. Are you trying to say he fucked him? Chris, I'm the man of awkward transitions, remember? Someone does a move, you say a word, I do an oh. awkward transition and make everyone feel uncomfortable. That's what she said. Now then, it looks like... Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Ian James going out right after... Just trying to win on his opponent! He's going out to the only person in the GWF who is of Native American descent, PJ. This might be a hate crime on hate crime! A black man beating upon a Native American! Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to think of that. Oh, now there's a Native American beating the black man! We're gonna uh -oh. get sued, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, James! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh! Somebody misses the table! No, Chris, I think he's trying to wear him down so we can put the whole table a little bit. a, a little bit better. Well, it's not rocket it. science to put somebody through a table! Oh! That belly to suplex! He threw Phoenix halfway across the arena, ladies and gentlemen! Special Bulldog oh, is a new character. Oh, PJ with those vicious chops! Vicious oh. chops! Oh my god! Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, the stakes for this tag team matchup are uh -oh. extremely. Oh. oh! PJ with a tremendous kick! What is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? And right now it looks like Vincent Oh with a swinging net breaker on PJ and he's going up top. He's going up top. What's he gonna do here? I can't tell, I can't see it over the camera! Oh there we go! Oh! Connected, but also got hurt himself! 
He calls that the flying purple kick. And it is an amazing maneuver to see, Chris. Like though it, it's a back and forth matchup between these two great tag teams, and right now it looks like oh, the good said no, oh, the legend like my team shot and they will have to eat their words ladies and gentlemen for tonight the James brothers have come on up top well that's definitely uh if I can get a word on otherwise uh uh Phoenix ate wood and he did not like it he ate wood and did not like it is indeed correct Chris it's not like my ex wife Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event for uh for NGF Drop Zone. This is gonna feature Delacola, Panda Man, Hardcore Eats, uh 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 the bomb, uh uh is and the, the Phantom. Phantom. That's right, this is a mixed brand matchup. The core title! For the core title, who's taking the core title uh home with them? If anyone from NG NGW, Delacola, the bomb or even fans for that matter, take the title over the NGW, the core championship would be over uh, there. The However, if anyone from NGF side... Well, it goes back and forth, so what does it matter when it's just bragging right? Here, here's Hardcore Ease, your number one contender for the NGW at world title! That's right, he is going to be in a tremendous... He's going to face the wolf at Heaven or Hell 2012 for the NGW World Championship. It is going to be a dream come true for the hardcore one. And here comes out perfection. So, he is definitely, definitely the look of perfection. That is indeed true, Chris. He's got the alien man. He's got the, the suit. He's got the superhero face. And he's got a cape. What kind of a wrestler is incomplete without an evil Dr. Kate? That is a big correct! Let's see what he's going to do! I think, I, think he's, I think he's getting tribute to, uh, to Deer! I don't know! To Deer! He puts together! I, I, I very passionate about saving Deer for four. Very passionate indeed! And here comes out! Oh my god! Here comes up the most unlikely person in the NCWF! The person on Hulk Creed himself! Personally, personally 
signed over to MJF. Panda Man, or as he is known, Pandemonium. Pandemonium, I was made correctly, and I'm scared of it. We keep it in the air, we're gonna fire it. Please, everybody, get up, shut up. Look at the crowd, they are fired up for Panda and the man. Chris, I'm having a hard time controlling myself. I'm dancing in my seat right now. Now, well, shut up, Nathan. It's time to watch the Panda Man and his epic conquest for the core title. He is going to try to claim the core title. He's going to try to become a champion here tonight. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, Panda Man definitely deserves to be in the six-man battle royal for the core title. I have to... What he he managed to beat uh, four of the competitors back at I believe it was prime time the fatal four way good blood match. He won that, and ever since, Panda Man has put himself on the map as a serious competitor. Well, at least a competitor. But definitely a competitor. And he gets a chance to prove his mind with the title match for the core title. That is indeed correct. I mean, Panda Man, the greatest. Man in a panda suit. To ever wrestle. To ever wrestle. Oh my god, Chris. Oh no. Who comes out and say, man? And uh, what the hell is he wearing? I think he's wearing a king's robe and uh, uh, maybe a soldier's helmet. I think him and Special Ed were kind of trading items in the back. We never really know. But uh, that's kind of unusual. He, he's wearing a most unusual attire. But Insane Man, let me tell you something about Insane Man, Chris. Insane Man, he's insane. Whoa, Nathan! I don't know if you want to say that! But he is insane. Here comes out the cola of the Dela. And Nathan, all of our wrestlers have to take a psych evaluation, but they're not necessarily disqualified for wrestling if they fail. That is indeed true, Chris. It doesn't really matter if you do get disqualified. And if you don't manage to pass your psych evaluation, you can still wrestle in the MGWF as long as you're capable of wrestling. As long as you're capable of wrestling, oh, there you are, you're out, 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 you're and claim himself to become a four champion. I mean, he, he, he's definitely proving himself here tonight. I mean, yes, he's in the ring with veterans, but at the same time, Panda Man has been on a roll. And the fans are behind him, I'm behind him, and the millions of homes back to his place are behind him. Well, I think everybody here, but uh, maybe the Phantom and uh, Panda Man have all been four champions. That is indeed true, they've all been four champions for some time or another. Speaking of another former, was he a core champion at one point? He was a core champion at one point, but it was a very, very short title reign, Chris. Here comes out the Bump. Now the Bump, uh, who's also friends with the Wolf, uh, as the player has been saying, that him and the Wolf are going to make some changes around here in the CWF. They're going to make MGWF, their own personal playground, and start, and they're gonna start on the respective brand, MGW. But tonight, the bum has a chance to become a two time, two time, two time, wait, well, I just said it's three times, but you get the idea. He's gonna become core champion again here tonight, is what the bum is claiming. Well, that is a day correct, Nathan. Let's see what's gonna happen to all these wrestlers. Oh, how come he's going out of the. The Phantom. And this is just. This is just going to be absolutely crazy, Chris. Now, which wrestler? I must know. Who, which wrestler in this epic connotation do you have? The Phantom. Why do you say? The Phantom. Because he's bound to win every now and then. I mean, I can't remember the last time he was, but I mean, he's bound to win. Chris, I don't think this is... The Phantom. Chance to win here tonight. I think it's Panda Man. Panda Man, this is his time to shine. This is do or die. If you want to put yourself on the map here in the GWF, you're going to have to start winning uh, matches. He's been doing that ever since he came into the MGWF. He's beaten every person he's come across. You could say, Chris, Panda Man is undefeated. You could say it, but you probably wouldn't. <laughs> 
You could say it, but why would you want to? And right now, it's going right after Panda Man, trying to get him into that submission maneuver, but it just doesn't work. And Panda Man now would, oh, he whipped Phantom into that turnbuckle. Chris Taker was cotton balls on his mouth and speak English for once. Right now, oh, the book, ladies and gentlemen, this main event is brought to you by Arrowhead Water. Arrowhead Water, taste the difference. Taste the difference and is indeed correct. And speaking of tasting difference and same man picking up hard coins. Oh, fun new class. Oh my God, where is that one? Harley, Harley. Now it's same man going at the Phantom. Oh, wait a minute. Phantom now using some uh, some moves. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, no, hardcore is going. No, 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 What's gonna happen here? Panda Man going after Hardcore Eats. This should be interesting. Oh! Well, well never mind. That was uh, pretty short. Yeah, in these kind of matches, ladies and gentlemen, you kind of have to watch your back. You have to, in this sort of, in this battle royale, you're gonna have to watch every single competitor because, you know, you can't just focus on one person. You have to focus on multiple people at once. If you have ADD, this is the match for you because you can focus on 12 different people at once. But there's not 12 people. There's only five other competitors. The point I'm trying to make here is, you know, this, 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 this is pandemonium. This is pandemonium! Oh, right, right, right! And what's gonna happen to this epic, epic match? Oh! oh I'm taking out Hardcore Eats! The bum going after Hardcore Eats. The bum and Hardcore Eats have faced each other before, both in the backyard and, and here in the NGWF 2012. And what? No! Oh, hip toss from the bum! Oh, and he pushes Hawkeye down. So, Chris, you still think no, he's going to win this matchup? Oh, why would I? Nathan? I mean, he's got, he's got an equal chance to win this match. I don't think so because he hasn't been on the wing. He, he hasn't won a single matchup since 2001. Okay, Nathan. Oh, here we go. All he's got to do is wait till everybody beats everybody else up and then pin somebody. It's not like he has to do it himself. Well, that is indeed true, Chris, but at the same time... Oh! Oh, he's the weakest person in this matchup. He is the most resilient. Oh, thank you! Oh, wait! Him. Wait a second! Well, one, one! Two! Three! Oh! Oh! See, I, I, it out. see I, I told you the fan was not going to win this. This is not his time to try to uh, get his losing streak uh, forgotten and beaten. This is not his time. Panda Man going out the Insane Man. Oh. oh! The Insane of the Man. I want, oh my god! I think, I think Panda Man's calling for it. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh! oh no. the, the bomb interfered with whatever Panda Man had planned. Now Insane Man's in control of this matchup. Now Chris, since your pick got out, who else you gonna go for? Oh, uh, that seems like a logical choice. Cause he's just insane enough to do it. He's just insane. Oh! Right now, your pick and my pick uh, are battling one another. Right now, insane man went after the bomb. Insane man went the bomb as a bigger. Oh, oh, as a man fucking uh, the Oh, oh insane man went after the pain man once again. Now, hardcore Ethan. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, backbreaker from the bomb. Right now with a button. Uh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What is Panda Man? What is Panda Man gonna do here? Yes, I think it's time. Oh. Panda Paw, oh. Panda, Panda Paw. Paw. Oh, Insane Man, Insane Man's now. Uh oh, uh oh. What's that calling for? Oh my oh, goodness. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what he was trying to do. He got the move got reversed. Oh wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, I think Pandaman! Oh. I think oh. Pandaman! Oh. Again? And then we're gonna see the Panda Paw yet again! Oh. Yeah! Twice in a row! The Panda Paw on the man that is insane! Who is my pick to win this, this epic, epic battle! Panda Man's got insane madness and Manu- Oh my goodness, insane man! Insane man! Oh! oh. Reverses it in the bomb! One! One. Two! Three! Hulk Reeds has been eliminated from this battle royal! He doesn't look too happy because- He will no longer be the core champion, but he's still has an NGWF world title back! He has to take solace in the fact that he has an NGWF world title oh, thing- here's the pin! One! One two, two! Three! Oh my god, my pick got eliminated! Every time you pick somebody, they get eliminated, Chris. You might as well just quit while you're ahead. No! Uh, next I'm gonna go with uh, the bomb! You're gonna go with the bomb? Yes! Okay, well that, I guess that seems logical, but, you know, Hulk Hoist could take solace in the fact that despite the fact that he lost oh! the core t championship, he has a chance to main event a major pay-per-view. Heaven the Hell 2012, and he faces the wolf inside a hell in a cell. That is a day correct, it comes down to, uh, these most big competitors for the core title. Uh, as, I said, I, as I said all along, I think the bomb's gonna win. Yes, that's right. Uh, it looks like the Panda Man is a little injured. He's holding his head, but he's sticking in there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! Oh, pushes him down. Oh, oh, oh going after the legs of De La Cola. No, ladies and gentlemen, just real quick, I want you to know that Heaven or Hell 2012 is going to be a very special pay-per-view because every single matchup is going to be inside a hell in a cell. Well, I was correct, ladies and gentlemen, and here, oh my god! Oh, the loot has a uh, Panda Press! Panda Press! Panda Press! Panda Press is indeed correct, Chris. I know, oh! oh I think I'm going to my Panda Man and Nella Cola! Oh, oh, the bomb just pushes him down, and wait a minute, the bomb's now singling for something. It looks like now he wants oh! to... Oh! Oh my god! It looks like Dale Cola and the bomb now. Oh! oh Panda Man! Panda Man! My pick has been eliminated. Well, my pick is still in there. Your pick is still in there, Chris. And he's now going for Boston Crab. Dale Cole is trying to go to the ropes and fucking hell. I think Dale Cole. Oh! I think Dale Cole is going to use his veteran side oh! to somehow beat the bum here, become a champion once again. But I don't know. The bum showing in. Oh my God! What is the bum going to do here? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! That was incredibly vicious and vile. The bomb trying to wear down his opponent. He's trying, he's trying desperately to wear down the veteran that is De La Cola, but De La Cola just is fighting back every step of the way. Wait a minute, what is De La Cola gonna try to do here? Oh, the bomb reverses it, but De La Cola reverses the gun. Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, he whips him in. Whips him over the corner. Oh. oh. Shoulder tackle into the into the rope into the turnbuckle, and right now, De La Cola looks like De La is gonna get his cola here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right now, De La Cola now trying to wear down the bomb. Both of these competitors want the core championship because when you win a title here, it doesn't matter what title, any title, if you win it. You get money, you get fame, you get everything that you want. Even women! Even women! That's a scary thought considering it's Sane Man was the core champion. That is a very scary thought, but I don't think it's Sane Man. Uh -oh. it, I, I don't think Insane Man has a sexual preference. He's too insane! It's too insane to make her up! looks like the Taylor Cole is taking the complete control of the bitch! Oh! Neckbreaker! Neckbreaker from the day of the Cola, and right now he's signaling for something. Looks like he's signaling to finish this off. Wait a minute. Why is it going through a pedigree? But that doesn't oh. matter. Oh my god. Oh! The bomb slams him down. The bomb now in control. And oh my god. Bomb oh. Buster. Ladies and gentlemen, here goes the pin. One, One two, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the bomb has won this match. He is now a two-time. Champion, Chris. The bomb.
fault, the most unusual person here in the NGWF has beaten every single competitor in the six-man battle royal in the in, in the NGF main event. Hey Michael, I don't know why you didn't have faith in him. I have faith in him all along the match. He's taken, he not only has won the core title, but he also brought a huge victory for NGW. He's not only won the core title, but he's won the heart of the soul, the minds of the kids of your fans. That is indeed true. I don't think it, I don't think the bum cares. Now that he has the core title, he can now use that money that he's getting from all the, from the, from his paychecks to buy himself a decent house and probably some food, some beer, yeah. probably upgrade to dump say Lindsay, probably kind of like make it classy or you know whatever. But that's not the point. The bum here tonight has beaten. He is victorious and tonight at NGF.